What's up YouTube? Gamers Media here and Gamers Yu-Gi-Oh! here. So uh, I'm going to be doing a collection sale. So first off, this is a four pocket monster binder and there's a few things I want to say before I actually get to the binder. First off, this binder has some high end cards in it and it's pretty easy to trade these cards. So that's one thing to consider. If you go to a locals and if you go to regional events, you can definitely make this binder from a, I would say this binder is worth about 200 to 250 that's just my rough estimate about how much it's worth you can easily turn this from 200 to 250 to i would say around 300 to 500 dollars in the course of about like four months if you go to a locals and if you make the correct trades i should say and for some reason this camera is losing focus for no apparent reason but uh yeah that's what I'm valuing it, so I'm probably going to start the bidding off at like 175 and like I said, uh, the max I'd value this collection is about like 250 but I already know for a fact that this collection, you can easily turn probably about like, probably like $500 in the course of a year. And you might be thinking, how? Well, hell, I've done that with my collection. I bought collections off of eBay. And I just started to work my way up. But uh, it's also going to come with some other stuff. So go and grab two tins here. Uh, it's going to come with two tins filled with commons and rares. Mostly commons. Like uh, if you don't know, I like do like case breaks. So I have tons of commons. So this is uh, Order of Chaos. So the majority of these commons will be from Order of Chaos. And we'll get this Dolka tin, which has commons from uh, Return of the Duelist. I think that's Return of the Duelist. Uh, R.E.D., whatever the one that has High Priestess in it. And Grand Soil. That pack. But, uh... Yeah, you'll get two tins full of commons, plus you'll get a monster binder. So let's get on with this, because it's already two minutes in. Ghost for Black Rose, Cataster, Gustav Max, Puppeteer. Uh, these two cards right now are in such high demand, you can go to any tournament and people will be willing to give you full value for them, because people are like, oh, you have a Black Rose? Oh, you have Cataster? I want that. Gustav Cannon is pretty good. There's been some decks that have been popping up that actually use this card. When I first looked at it, I was like, what the hell is going to use that? But, uh, yeah, some people are actually building decks around it, which is pretty cool. Uh, Tour Guide from the Underworld. I have one Starfoil, one Black Rare, Ultimate Rare, Ultra, Tardy Oryx, Armor Ninja, Ultra Rare, a full, complete Dragon deck, or... Uh, not dragon deck, ninja deck. Uh, as you can see, three ultimate rare Hanzos, Rust thing, uh, Ninja to Art of Alchemy, three secret rare uh, white dragon ninjas, and then three super art of transformation. I would value this right here. Like, if you put together the deck, the deck would easily go for like 60, 70 on eBay. So, and all you need for the deck is. I would say $5 or $6 worth of commons. So that right there is some of the value. Even though ninjas aren't that good, you can build dragon ninjas. You can do a lot of stuff with this deck, and you can win tournaments with it. Don't expect to win regionals because, obviously, there's people there that are probably playing with $500 decks. <coughs> Mermails. But, uh, yeah, let's get on with this. Reinforcements of the army. A Rind Light Swarm Monk. A uh, Wolf the Light Swarm Beast. Wolf the Light Swarm Beast. These two are super. This is Ultra. And this is Secret, guys. Uh, Ultra. Double Ultra Lumina. Double Ultra Jane. Three common JDs. Three common Rikos. Common Charge. Three Secret Rare uh, Tethnus, the Goddess of Light. Uh, these are actually kind of annoying to find, but uh, it's an okay card if you're running Fairy decks. I won't suggest running them in Light Swarms. Uh, I ran this card in a Christia deck, and it was actually pretty damn good. I kind of underestimated how good it was. Necro Garner. Uh, first off, play a Hero Lives with this card. It's the best thing. 
Oh, uh, I play a Hero Lives. Uh, pick a card from my hand. By the way, uh, just throwing this out here. Uh, if you pick Christia, ignore summoning conditions. I, bl I believe that's how it works. Uh, Ghost Rare, Herald of Perfections. And Wind Up Rabbit. Or Genix Neutron. Blizzard Princess. I uh, 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 Westlow and Illuminate. Because I believe a Hero Lives does not say Special Summon. I just think it says Summon. So it might be considered a Normal Summon. But the uh, rest of the cards here, you should know what it is. Uh, Lilas, these are common. And this is Starfoil. And this is Starfoil too. Let's see. Okay. So again, we get these three things right here. Or, yeah. The two tens with commons and the binder. So enjoy your bidding, guys, and uh, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace.